And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Pretty quiet still on Storm Shield radar, but we have a cold front that is approaching and that will bring us the chance for some showers and some thunderstorms here later on tonight. We do have some off to the west towards uh, the Chippewa Valley, starting to move into Eau Claire, a batch of some thunderstorms there. Uh, could produce some locally heavy rain at times, but the good news is the severe threat is fairly low for tonight. 72 degrees, the current temperature in Green Bay, very mild for this time of the year. Dew points are up in the 60s, and we're going to have one more mild and relatively warm night before some cooler air works on in starting tomorrow. 72 degrees right now in Appleton. Temperatures around the region. We're at 69 in Sturgeon Bay, 71 in Oconto, 70 in Clintonville. It's 73 still in Watoma and 74 degrees right now in Shano. Wind speeds are fairly light. They've lightened up since earlier today out of the south. These will switch out of the west tomorrow, bringing in some drier and cooler air for your Sunday. Those dew points are well into the 60s, so it's definitely very humid out there, but that will be changing after this cold front passes. So we'll get some showers and storms to work on in later tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll dry out for the afternoon and actually clear out as well. And then back behind this system, notice the cooler air towards Minnesota and the Dakotas. Also much drier air to the west as well. And this is all heading in our direction for the end of the weekend on into early next week. Here's a look at Skycast. Here how things play out. Scattered showers, a few rumbles of thunder. Nothing too terribly impressive is going to move on through. By noon, we start to see things clear out. The rain will be done by then. Any showers that are around the area. And then sunshine for the afternoon. It'll be less humid, breezy, and cooler. Highs tomorrow only in the 70s as opposed to the 80s. And then as we head into Monday, look for a good amount of clouds to build as we go throughout the day. Should be dry through most of the daytime hours, but as we move into the evening, we'll have the chance for some more showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Overnight tonight, a thunderstorm is possible. The severe threat, we're not really expecting any kind of severe weather. Rainfall amounts, a few hundredths of an inch. Some areas will pick up a little bit more, especially to the west, where we could pick up as much of, as a quarter of an inch. Here's a look at your Sunday forecast. Some clouds, a few showers in the morning, sunshine for the afternoon, cooler, much less humid. So all in all, not a washout for your Sunday. Packers facing Atlanta tomorrow evening, 81 degrees at kickoff with mostly clear skies. It's going to cool down for Monday and Tuesday. Highs right around 70 degrees, but if you've liked this summer weather, it's coming back in the forecast for later this upcoming week. Your forecast tonight, clouds increase, a few showers and thunderstorms, a low of 66. Tomorrow up to 75, increasing sunshine for the afternoon. We'll get rid of the rain. And then on Monday, mostly cloudy, some showers, Monday night into early Tuesday, and then temperatures warming back up. Summer weather comes back next week. I'm so glad we can say that. Summer weather is here for a little bit longer. It's holding on, yeah. All right, Matt, thanks so much. Yeah. Well, coming